And of Lampedusa has been inundated with thousands of migrants from Tunisia over the past few days. They've been fleeing the country after its recent revolution there. And authorities on the island say they're struggling with the sudden influx. Well, to discuss this in more depth, I'm now joined by MEP and the EU Parliament's Vice Chair of Foreign Affairs, Fiorello Provera. Thanks very much indeed for joining us there in Strasbourg. Um, well, your member state is Italy. One would imagine that uh, this is adding pressure to any existing multicultural problems in your country. Is it? Yeah, we have a, a multicultural problem in Italy because uh, uh, most of immigrants don't, don't want to accommodate to our rules and uh, they want to maintain uh, their habits and uh, they want uh, to live following the Sharia laws uh, if they are Muslims. And this is a problem because uh, multiculturalism means that we all have to live following the Italian rules and uh, following the Italian and having the Italian rights. And uh, we don't want ghettos in our city or in our country and uh, all we need is to, to try to live together, um, building the future together. So you acknowledge the fact that Italy does uh, have similar problems to many other European countries. Uh, talking about this particular instance where we're seeing this new wave of migrants coming to your country, I understand the EU foreign policy chief has gone to Tunisia uh, to discuss this situation from where those migrants came from. Now, is there actually anything to be done about this problem, though? The, the, the actual problem is that uh, 6,200 people uh, reached uh, Lampedusa, the south of Italy, in three days, and uh, there is a huge uh, invasion. We, it's difficult to stand such a large number of people, uh, of immigrants, and uh, integrate them in the Italian society. So uh, it, we think that it's not only Italian problem, it's a European problem. And anyway, uh, we have to, to challenge, to cope with the structural problem in the Maghreb, in the north of Africa. Because after the f fall of the dictatorship in Tunisia and uh, in, in Egypt, uh, some huge problem remains, uh, structural problems, uh, the, the economy and uh, the building the, of a democracy, of a new democracy that's not uh, easy to reach, uh, to be set. As you're saying, not just a problem in Italy, but other countries as well. Is it the government's fault or the immigrants' fault? Who's actually mainly to blame? I know you touched on this a little bit earlier, but uh, T tell us a bit more about where the real root of the problem lies about multiculturalism, integration. The problem of the integration is that uh, most of people who came to Italy in the past, and uh, they are still coming to Italy, they don't want to be integrated. They want to follow uh, their, um, their tradition, they want to follow their, their own laws. Uh, I, I mean the Sharia laws, we can't accept such a behavior. Uh, we, we can accept immigrants uh, who, are, uh, who have a behavior and uh, an approach to the Italian state. Just briefly, can I ask you though, that almost you're saying you have to accept that behavior, but in a way there's an element of tolerance needed from both sides, isn't there? There's got to be tolerance from the host nation, and that's all about, regardless of creed, color or, or culture, that tolerance is the most important thing, and maybe that's not what the immigrants are experiencing. People aren't tolerating them. Uh, immigrants are tolerated if uh, their behavior is, uh, is of, if it follows our, our rules and laws and tradition. Uh, that's, it's very easy to, to tolerate, uh, to accept uh, immigrants following our rules. If they want to live following their rules in our territory, in our areas, in our country, that will be very, very uh, difficult to, to accept for Italian people. Can I just ask you, um, do you think the, the growth of extremism and terrorism has prompted the, the likes of yourself, European politicians, to, to admit that multiculturalism hasn't succeeded across the continent? And, and, and that is what prompted this, uh, this recognition of the problem. Most of the Italian politicians admit that multiculturalism has failed, actually. 
and uh, not only in Italy, Cameron says the, maze, the, the, the same, uh, Merkel, the, the German leader, uh, it has the same opinion. Uh, Tilo Sarazen is a social democrat politician. Admit that multicolorism is a problem. Okay, so if and, it's and failed, so we have to if, change the mind. If it has failed, has that actually led to extremism and the further threat of terrorism in Europe? Sorry? Can you link the fact the failure of multiculturalism, multiculturalism has led to an increase of extremism and terrorism in Europe, just finally? Yes, because um, um, you see, it's, 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 it's not the same uh, um, uh, story uh, for, for every immigrant. I mean, there are immigrants ca coming from certain area of, of Europe that are very well accepted. They can enter our society, they can accommodate our laws, uh, our behaviors, and, and it's, they are very easy to, to be integrated. And there are some others. Uh, who are not so easy to, to, to be integrated. One of the, uh, the key areas of integration is to provide jobs for people to be self-financing uh, in a, a new country. But when you think about half of Europe or much of Europe being broke at the moment, that's not really a realistic solution, isn't it? Further people coming to look for jobs where uh, the people who actually live in the countries don't have jobs themselves. Of course, jobs are, are very, very important because it's impossible to to, to live in a country without any jobs. Uh, you need uh, money, f you need salaries for, for, for life. And the, the real problem for Italy is, is not the legal immigration, is the illegal immigration. Uh, th th that is the problem, because uh, if you are not legal in a country, you have no documents, you can't work uh, with the uh, with, uh, rights uh, that every worker has in, the, in, in, this, uh, in, in Italy. And so it, it makes a lot of problems because what, what, is the, what, what are the, the chances for someone without any documents, without papers? We, uh, they, they, can, they cannot live in, in a legal way. Well, it's uh, very interesting to hear what you have to say and very relevant, bearing in mind uh, you're from Italy and there you are in Strasbourg. Uh, MEP Fiorella Prevera, thank you very much indeed for joining us live and sharing your thoughts here on RT. Thank you. Thank you.